Hello everyone. Uh, so this will be a quick one. Uh, so today we are going to talk about how we can use Chat GPT in Visual Studio Code. So we are going to uh, back to Visual Studio Code. So uh, I'm going to quickly show you how uh, to add Chat GPT uh, into your code and how you can use it for uh, checking the bugs and fixing them. Okay. So let's say you have this code ready and uh, you want to check the errors or fix the errors uh, using the chat GPT. So you can include uh, chat GPT as an extension to VSC directly. So all you have to do is you go to extensions and search for chat GPT. So you will get uh, the extension right here. So this is uh, freely available. Okay. And you just click on install and ready to use uh, for your uh, Visual Studio. Okay, so now if you go here and you just do right click, you will get this chat GPT option. And when you go there, you have these many options available to be used, right? So at any point, let's say uh, if you want to click on this, explain the following code in detail. So as you see, it is uh, you know, trying to uh, manipulate the code here and understand what it is doing. So for each line is giving an exp uh, explanation. Okay, as simple as that. So the same thing happens also if you copy this code into uh, into your chat GPT browser, but then uh, here it makes it very easy if you use the extension. So you don't need to go anywhere else. You just add the extension and you know, uh, uh, get the solution right away and in your Visual Studio code. So let's just include a bug. Let's say I just uh, make any mistake. I'm just giving an example. So if I just uh, try to uh, go to chat GPT, check the following code for bugs. Uh, so it will tell you like there are a few issues with the code. Uh, here are the bugs. So this, the, the statement print has been misspelled. And also it will give you the right uh, way to, to do that. Okay, so as simple as that. So likewise, now you get to know that, uh, you know, uh, you have to remove this. And also it will not only uh, uh, show you the very small, small bug fixes, but also logically also if you do anything wrong, it will uh, tell you like, for example, here I am uh, adding two numbers. So even if you take, because see Python, uh, does not uh, uh, you know, include the variable declaration. So anything that you take based on the uh, input, it becomes that variable. So for example, if you are taking the data here as a string, so A will be considered a string. If you take it as integer, you convert it into integer and then assign to it, and A will be considered as integer. Okay, so now if you, if you run this code, so what will happen? Uh, yeah, this is my terminal. So just I, if I say 45 and then 56 or something, so you see it's not adding them. Instead, they are concatenated. Okay. So now if you just go and check, like Chat GPT, check the following code for bugs. Now see what is happening. So you see here. Uh, uh, they are saying that uh, they are not number, it is a string, okay? So you need to convert the string into number to add as a number, otherwise they will be considered a string and they will perform the string concatenation, okay? So likewise, and uh, this is how you can uh, include chat GPT as an extension directly to the Visual Studio code and make use of it, okay? So thanks for watching. This is what I wanted to share and uh, coming back to the channel. Uh, this is where I share tutorials for uh, cloud, Linux, uh, Python, etc. So uh, please subscribe if you're not. If you subscribe, it will encourage me to do more. Uh, so thank you for watching.